we'll start building our chess game. Let's get started. So, Xcode. Create a new Xcode project. Yeah, that, okay, let's put it here. And a single view app, yes. Next. Product name, chess. And team, it's okay. So make sure we are using Swift language and uh, user interface, storyboard, okay? Not the other one. This one is easier to use. Next. Okay, create. So we'll add a view file as the, uh, to hold our game board, okay? So new file, um, Coco Touch class, select this one and make sure it's the subclass of UI view here. UI view. So we can name it board view. Yeah. Next. Create the view file here. We can yeah drag it up to somewhere here. And let's remove that. On comment out our draw function. So we'll put our drawing code here. Now, let's add this view into our main storyboard here. Let's try to use a template, iPad template. This one, make it smaller. Click this button to grab a UI view. UI view. Yeah, this guy, drag and drop. Put it here. Let's change its background color. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, fifth, the fifth icon here. This is, what's that? Show the attributes inspector. Okay, attribute. Inspect the background color. Let me put the light gray here and uh, drag it here to to meet some of the guidelines, blue guidelines. So today uh, we'll try something new here. Uh, it's called auto layout. It means this view will automatically fit the screen, different screen sizes, okay? How to do that? So with this view selected, let's click this icon here. One, two, three, this one. So we can accept like the top distance, right? The, this is the constraint. Um, of our view. So left margin, 20 points, right? And uh, we don't select the bottom because we want to make a square, a perfect square. So let's select this one, aspect ratio. So we add four constraints here. So now we can double click. The, this is the ratio, it says 300 something to 300 something. Let's double click that. Yeah, 364 to 360. Wow, it's almost perfect. So let's select that and let's uh, pick up this one. Now it's one to one, a perfect uh, square. Okay, let's give it a try. So we can run on iPad Pro 9.7 inch. Okay, let's run it.
yes you see the uh, it looks good right now what about uh let's stop it let's try another one iphone 8 uh okay let's try iphone 8 that's a small screen right run it to see what happened to our gray view so it's still launching so we'll create a chess game automatically fit yeah you see here the view right uh it's it meets the constraints we just add right the top 20 right from here to 20 points to the status bar and here we have 20 margin here and the right yeah so this is also a perfect square here okay now let's stop it and we can start to draw uh, our chessboard right so now oh one more thing we need to set the view select that set the view class to our board view here okay now we can start to draw our uh, chessboard so chessboard is eight by eight right uh so it's 64 squares so let's create a function like draw board so we don't need the parameter for now no return type do that and uh, okay how do we draw a uh, a board hmm. let's make a plan for it's useful okay so this guy let's create a plan strategy okay so make this one smaller here um, we can run it so we can see the screen okay we'll put our board in the yeah on this view so eight by eight and white and gray right so all white and black <laughs> let's draw our square first okay um so we'll call this draw board here draw board let's draw uh, the first square so that um, pass okay equals ui by zero pass right mm, let's use something uh, for the square okay rectangle here this one so enter and uh, we'll use this one what's x let's draw our first square okay and put anything here 100 100 so width and height let's use 90 91 <laughs> okay 91 so then pass dot fill uh, this will use the default black color okay so let's give it a try command r to run it oh it's a huge so now we can define the um, something for the location and the size of our chessboard 
So we can define the constant here. For example, let let um, origin x with data type cg float equals yeah. Let put the the anchor point of our chessboard somewhere here. So the coordinate is based on this view, the gray view. This is our board view, not not here. It has nothing to do with uh, the screen, the background. That's another view, the white view. But we, we are not using that directory. So here, uh, this can be arbitrary because uh, later on it's very easy to adjust uh, its location. So let's just put, uh, for example, 23 here. And uh, let origin y cg float maybe 37. Mm hmm. What about the cell, the square side? So let's call it cell side, right? CG float. The size of that. Okay, so ninety one is too big here. Let's use a small one. Um. What about forty one? Okay. So now let's try to use this. So this is our top left square, right? So width is cell side and the height, same thing, cell side. Let's run it. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay. So Let's create another function um, to draw just a single uh, square. So func draw square and the location. Okay, so yeah, let's use colon. int capitalize i and uh, row right so we have eight by eight eight column and eight row so return no but we can specify our color here ui um, so which color mm, ui color is the data type so we can cut this one to here, right? Draw one square here. So we'll set the color here. So we use color, color dot set fill. Now we, when we call this one, we can specify a color. Let's draw our first square here. So draw square colon okay so colon <laughs> zero and uh, zero color um let's use a gray color this time so light gray do we have oh yeah light gray is good let's see run it okay now what about the second one let's draw another one uh, make a copy of that. So the next one is here. It has to be. It has to be black. Yeah. So colon zero. Colon one. Row that. Okay. So the color. Let's use black. Okay. Now we needed to modify this code, right? So how to handle the colon and the row? Yeah, here, let's use, yeah, colon times cell side, right? And, uh, okay, you will complain because, okay, let's, let's hide this one. So we have more room here. Actually, we can also hide this one. 
it have even more rooms. Um, what does it complain? Because the data type doesn't match. Here, this guy is int, right? So we have to convert this one to CG float. So let's fix that. Yeah. So we'll do the same thing for the Y. Oh, copy. And uh, no, paste. Yeah, class. So here it should be row, right? Okay, so CG float. Okay, now let's run it. Yeah. Uh, Maybe you can use white here. It looks more like a... Yeah. So let's use a for loop, right? To draw uh, 8 by 8. How to do that? So... Mm, we can... we can draw the yeah we can use the two of them as a group right oh mm. so it will be repeated four times for the first row okay um uh wait a minute so let's test this on the the other simulator the other one is this one right oh now it's too small okay so uh we'll fix this in our next video so that's it for today see you next time